Get up and fight. Get up and fight for your rights. My brothers, mm-hmm. get up and fight for your rights. My sisters, shalom, Rastafari, yes I. Barahana Selassie, Mr. Lynn, I ain't far, far away. Mm-hmm. Did he prophesy about these times? Bob Marley, did he prophesy about Han Selassie? May Jah bless his soul. Mine, did he prophesy about this time? Might as well, you know, be the first trumpet. You know, it could be the first trumpet. It might as well be the last. Are there really two Trumps? Trumps? Donald Trumps? Are there? Are there two Trumps? Right? First Trump and the last Trump. Because a lot of people have been speculating, you know, speculating on this uh, 2016 election, on this race. A lot of people have been speculating on a possible race war or civil war. Some say a civil and a race war. Right? A lot of people have been prophesizing right? from even the ancient times of destruction on the Babylonian whore. Right? What time are we in? What time is it? All right? We're seeing these signs and more signs. All right? Are these just more signs of the time? The Burhana Selassie Right, give us that key, that key sign. Could be the first trumpet. It might as well be the last. Mm-hmm. King of kings and the Lord of lords. He sits on his throne and he rules us all. Look into the book of life and you will see that he Rules them all that like the King of Kings, Adonai Ja Rastafari, rules them all. Right? And he sent forth his servants. Right? And the servants have prophesied, have spoken the word. Many have been martyred. Right? Many more. Right? Will have to suffer. Right? Many did suffer. Many of us are suffering. Many more will have to die. Right? Many have died. Right? Many more of us will have to die. Right? But all die, not all rise. But the resurrections and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Wake, awake, O oh sleeper. Awake from your sleep and slumber. Some to everlasting life, some to eternal life, and some to shame. And everlasting and eternal contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. The firmament, the dome. You know, the sky is the limit. They can't get above the sky, no matter how hard they try. They can't get above the sky, right? And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And the last message to Daniel was what? But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Are we here, Chabarim? Are we here, oh, f friends? Friends, my friends, my brothers, I those who who seek to do you know do that which Yeshua HaMoshia Yesus Christos has commanded us he says I call you friends if you do whatsoever I command you so it's the commands of our black Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMoshia that are important for us in this time well, what time are we in right what a time are we in? Mm -hmm. They have sought to turn the rainbow upside down. Right? And sodomite act activists, sodomite rights have come to the top. Right? And human rights have come to the bottom. Everything is a new black and black is, is not itself no more. 
right? The race, right? The race, the election, the race for the White House. That's what everybody's about, right? But it's the first Trump, the last Trump. Hillary is swooning. She's fainting. She's collapsing. She's doing her little Pentecostal swoon and everything. But what does John say to Daniel? He says, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. I seal the book even to the time of the end. What does our father, mine? What does Abinu, Adamawi, Hala Salasi say to I and I and we? For my part, I glory in the Bible, mine. Seal of the book even to the time of the end. The book is coming unsealed, all right? Loosing those seven seals, right? The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Word says that many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. They call it technologically, what, modulation, demodulation, right? The ones and the zero, the digital, right? The finger, the digits, right? The finger, right? Count, count upon your fingers, count the digits. Count the signs of the time. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, my brothers and sisters, right? And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? We're seeing amazing things. Even John, Johannes, right? Be honest like Johannes. Even John in the book of Revelation, he looked upon that hoe. He looked upon that whore. Dressed in, in the purple, right? That sat on the many waters. He looked upon it with what? Great amazement. Combine the colors red and blue. What do you have? Think about it for a moment. When you combine the colors red and blue, you have purple. Think about it. Red, right? Republican, blue, Democrat, red and blue. You have purple, Right, this is royalty <laughs> or false royalty, pseudo royalty. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand to heaven. Let there be light. He held up his what? His right hand and his left hand to heaven and swear. Right? He swear. He swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time and is uh, for a time sleeker for a time times and a half right so he lifted up his uh right hand and he lifted up his left hand i saw this picture a little earlier today it was interesting went on this other side over here let's see if i can show this to you right here right okay is it this side right here Okay, let's let's see if we can bring it up right here. Okay, it's the Bible for zombies. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a, it's a strange title right there, but so be it, right? He he lifted up his right hand. Let's just take a look at what you know, of what that would uh, what that would look like, right? Let's let's look up right here, right? So he he lifted up his hand. Right, he lifted up his hand to the heavens. Right, he lifted up his right hand and his left hand to the heavens. Right, and what did he say? Let's look right here. We're in Revelation, we're actually in Daniel. Daniel matches Revelation, right, in the content and the themes. Okay, while these pages open up right here, right, while these pages open up here, let's just let's just put this up here. So until these pages, I'll look and I'll bring it forward. I just want to show you what it looked like. I was thinking that I saw this a little earlier, actually, yesterday. Oh, fire. All right? Judgment shall be fired. Now, remember, there's a difference, right? There's a difference between, uh, there's a difference. There's a difference between 
Jah's anger, Sleeker, there's a difference between Jah's anger and his wrath. Just make a note of that, brothers and sisters. There's a difference between Jah's anger and Jah's wrath. Right? He's angry with the wicked every day. Right? But in his wrath, right, he destroys his enemies. Right? When that wrath. So his anger has been, has, his anger has been ever since, you know, we can almost say since probably the foundation of the world. You remember that sign right there too. Amazing sign right there. That was that was a sign right from heaven. Right? That was a sign right from heaven. Okay, here it goes right here. Behind the series. You know? Um, let's be about Christ and Majesty. So boom. Right? So what happened? Right? So we have this right here. Right? Lifting up his hands. See this right here? So he lifted up his hands. Right? His, his right hand and his left hand to heaven. And swear by him that liveth forever. That it shall be for a time, times and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. When he has, when he has done what? When he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people. All these things shall be finished. Wow. So he lifted up his right hand and his left hand. Similar to what we have in Revelation. Similar to what we have throughout that prophetic word, right? The lifting up his hands, right? To the heavens. Let's go on right here. And I heard, but I understood not. You know, because at first we, we, we've heard these prophecies and, and we, if we be honest, we didn't really understand. You know, we didn't understand. Daniel heard these things, right? Do you think you're wiser than Daniel? Mm. What is the word for you if you think you're wiser than Daniel? Mm -hmm. But we know the one who thinks he's wiser than Daniel is a judgment too. But Daniel, he said, I heard but I understood not. Then I said, I... Then, then said I, O oh, Adonai, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Donnell, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. He said, Go thy way, Daniel. You know, go about what you have to do, like in a sense, live your life, Daniel. Go your way, Daniel. You know, these things, right? These things are what? These things are sealed up, right? These things are sealed up when? These things are sealed up, right? These things are sealed up to the time, right? You know, to the time of the end. So in the end time, a lot of these prophetic words, these prophecies, you know, as they're becoming very much clear, you know, even those of us who might not have been looking for it. We were seeing things and wait, I've heard something about that before. Where did I read that before? Right? And lo and behold, it's in the word of truth. It's in the scriptures. It's in the Bible. So that which was sealed up, right, is becoming unsealed. Right? That which was hidden from the wise and the prudent, right, is being revealed to the babes, even I and I, the babes and suckling, right? Even that which was hidden from the wise and prudent are being revealed to the babes and suckling. Didn't have that pick right there. Sorry about that, but let's go on, right? He says, until the time of the end, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. So sometimes, you know, one say, ah, don't understand. Well, you talking this crazy stuff. You rasters, you smoking on marijuana, and, yo, potheads, and, you know, dreadlocks, and ital eaters, you know. <laughs> and they don't understand what we be saying, right? They really don't understand, you know. They don't know who we be. Right. But see, it's not that they don't know who we be. They don't know he who be who he be. 
right? But listen to that word and read that word and think about that. It says that, right, none of the wicked, right, the wicked are not going to really be able to understand what's going on. But the wise, the wise shall understand. I pray and pray for wisdom. Pray for the spirit of wisdom, brothers and sisters. Please pray for the spirit of wisdom. Be wise to salvation so that you will be able to comprehend and understand right, all of these signs and recognize what time and also hear the word. Right, hear that word of truth and be able to save yourself, right? You know, save yourself, right? And be saved. Let's, let's get this picture right here, Sleeker brothers and sisters. You know, um, we're, we're going through this just, just live. We are up here early in the, in the a.m. hours of the morning, you know, going through this word right here and, and seeking to find a couple of, uh, couple of pictures to kind of. Just support what we're saying right here, you know, prophetical pictures right here, historical pictures right here, because a picture, they say, is like a thousand words. His majesty warned humanity. He, he, he sought to warn, you know, you know, he sought to warn I and I. He sought to warn, you know, humanity about these days. And his warning, you know, fell on deaf ears even after the, you know, the fascist invasion of Ethiopia. Now you hear everyone talking about, oh, this is fascism, what's going on? All right? So now the big threat is fascism. But when the King of Kings uh, spoke about fascism, you know, they act like they, they, they didn't understand. But then it said that um, none of those who do wickedly shall understand. The righteous understood. The righteous understood then. You know, that godless and creeping coup that was creeping, right? That was creeping then. And many can understand now this creeping coup against humanity that is creeping, right? And um, ain't nothing new under the sun, brothers and sisters. You know, so when we talk about these two trumps and just going into and meditating on this word right here, the first trumpet, the last trumpet, the time, times and a half. The cutting short, right? The cutting short of these days, right? Even these days, right? And the wicked, it says the wicked shall do wickedly. Just watching a video about the Clintons. Oh, man, that was crazy. You know, how they were just doing 180, you know, like, that 180, you know, you know, turn on everything that they were supporting, you know, and some people are surprised by that. Are you really surprised by that? You didn't see the Clinton Chronicles? Anyway, just just morally, just a, a morally corrupt couple. All right. I mean, just a, really a morally corrupt couple. They they were doing it before. People tried to warn people about it before. People didn't want to hear the warning before. Right. And I guess they won't get the warning right now. Right. They won't get the warning right now. But his majesty sought to warn you. They didn't listen. Right. They didn't listen. Right. To the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Right. And you got to remember where the line of Judah shows up in prophecy that we are. We are well beyond that now. Right. So everything truly in prophecy is in in grace. It's in the right place. Right. But none, none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. The wise shall understand. So Bob Marley, right? He prophesied. It could be the first trumpet, right? It might as well be the last, right? Because the wicked are not going to be able to understand. You see, that's that's the key right there. None of the wicked are going to be able to understand. Maybe they don't want to understand. Remind me of Thessalonians. In Thessalonians, um, it says that... Um, What's we'll it in Thessalonians? Let me get Thessalonians right here. Just share this with you in Thessalonians. I think it's, uh, let me get this. Just, just patience, brothers and sisters. Thessalonians, all right? In Thessalonians chapter, the second Thessalonians chapter two, right? In chapter two, it says, let no man deceive you by any 
means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sits in the temple of God shewing himself that he is God remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way how long brothers and sisters have you, 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 some of y'all probably know and uh, will noted that we was mentioning before that you know first of all in that verse when it says only he that letteth that let means preventeth it right who was it that prevented it it was the king of kings. The king of kings was preventing, right, by his presence, that mystery of iniquity from the full takeover. Then he, who be who he be, was taken out of the way, right? That's that small, and that small country. Remember Bush, 9 11? He says it's more than one small country, right? He was speaking about. His Majesty's Ethiopia, right? The Ethiopia of prophecy. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands to God. If they don't recognize God in his uh, imperial palace, you know, in Addis Ababa, then they suffer and dead. Many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die. So it says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth or preventeth will prevent until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right? Of his coming. So his majesty, right, was taken out of the way. Right? Taken out of that global, that world equation. But he already had come. He already had shortened the days. Right. For the elect's sake. Right. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord ha Adon Adonai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Or what? deceivableness of unrighteousness right in them that perish so remember what it says that the wicked the wicked shall not they will not they will not understand right they will not but the wise shall understand right and with all deceivements of righteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved Right? They did not receive the love of the truth. There are some that don't love the truth. You know? Some people say, well, why 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 does someone to be hating on 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 on, on I and I and those who are putting out, seeking to put out the truth, right? More or less, but that which that they are able to, you know, in sincerity and truth, why are there some that be hating on those who speak the truth? Well, I think the scripture basically mentions it, right? Right. That's what we say right here. Once again, right? There's a natural mystic blowing through the ear. If you listen carefully now, right, you will hear. This could be the first trump, right? It could be the the good trump, right? It could be the the trump with the what the blue tie trump, right? Right. Might as well be the last. It could be the last one. Remember the blue and the red? You put the colors together, you get purple, right? What color is the whore, right? That purple, right? Many more will have to suffer. Remember the Trump with the red tie? He talked about the bubble, this bubble bursting, the economic collapse that's coming, right? Many more will have to die. Don't ask me why. Things are not the way they used to be. They're not. I won't tell no lie. One and all... 
got to face reality now. What's the reality? Right? The reality is this word of the B-I-B-L-E, right? In his majesty. That is reality. And what does the reality say? It says this. And for this cause, God, Elohim, shall send them strong delusion. Right? The world is under strong delusion. Right? It says that Elohim, God, will send them strong delusion. So who is sending them this strong delusion? It is Elohim. Right? It is, it is the power, the all power that is sending them strong delusion that they should that they should believe a lie. So some oh, why are so many people going for the lie? Well, it says Elohim will send them strong delusion that they might all, right, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. And we said, weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, right, the root of David, Kadamawi, Haile Selassie have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof, right? But those who don't want to believe, accept the truth, right? That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. You see, they had pleasure. They took pleasure in unrighteousness. They took pleasure in the world flesh and the devil system, right? Some know that this is an evil that's going on. Some know that the e they, they, they know that what we say is the truth, right? Some of them are white devils. Some of them are black devils. It don't matter. You know, deaf to black and white down press, it don't matter. You know, some say, oh, this is a race war. Well, if it's a race, the race is that seed, right? And when we speak about that seed, right? We're speaking about that seed of the true humanity. Mm -hmm. We're speaking about that seed, the seed of those who are born again, right? With faith, Bahashem Yeshua, Besime Yesus, right? Faith in Yeshua HaMoshiach. Faith in Jesus Christ, right? In spirit, Right? In the spirit and the truth. Is he black? Well, yes, he's black. That's just the truth of the matter. If, if you caught up on that, or if that is to offend you, well, then you, you, you want to believe a lie. Right? And if you believe a lie, right, then you're damned because you don't want to believe the truth. Right? But you want to take pleasure in unrighteousness. But this word is to exhort, to build up right, the brethren, to instruct I and I in righteousness, but we are bound to give thanks to God, to Elohim, Karamawi Hala Salasi, Father, strength and redeemer for you, brethren, beloved of Ha Adon, of Adonai, because Elohim has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through the sanctification of the Spirit and the belief, the true faith of the truth where to he called you by our gospel by the gospel of the king of kings christ to the obtaining of the glory of our lord jesus christ of adonai yeshua hamushia therefore wondermoch achayam brethren stand fast stand firm and hold the traditions which ye which y'all have been taught whether by word or our epistle. Now, Adonai Yeshua HaMoshiach himself and Elohim, even Abinu, even our Father, who have loved us, the children of the Negus, and have given us everlasting, eternal consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts, establish you in every good word and work. Amen and amen.